This is the digital max-min thermometer you will be using to take weather observations this semester. The thermometer consists of two probes, left and right, which are used to measure the temperature. These are connected by the white wires to this box, which is used for recording, storage, and reading of the data. These two temperature probes should be placed in the position where you want to measure the temperature. They are both entirely independent of each other and will measure different temperatures if the temperatures at the locations that they're positioned are different. If we open up the box, we find that this left temperature sensor is indeed labeled left and the right temperature sensor is labeled right. They're displayed, the data they collect is displayed on the screen, left on the top and right on the bottom. These are controlled by these buttons. The three buttons on the left control the left display, and the three buttons on the right control the display of the right thermometer. They can be turned on and operated entirely independently of one another, as if they were separate thermometers. For the purposes of explaining how this works, I will turn off the right thermometer now by pushing and holding the on button and only work with the left thermometer. The number you see in the screen right now is the current temperature that the left thermometer is reading. We can also read maximum and minimum temperatures over the last six days using the max min buttons. These temperatures are stored in the memory of, of this box. By pushing the max button, we get the maximum temperature over the six days prior to the current time. Similarly, by pushing the minimum button, we get the minimum temperature of the six days prior to this time. Back to max now, if we push the maximum button twice, we find the maximum temperature of the 24 hours directly previous to the current time. That is, the day one, the first day's maximum temperature. By pushing the button again, we get day two's maximum temperature, the 24 hour period previous to the first day. By pushing this sequentially, we can go back in time and find the maximum temperature of each day as recorded back to six days ago. Pushing the button a final time gives us the current temperature again. The minimum button is operated the same way. Two pushes of the button give us the minimum temperature on the first day, 24 hours previous to the current time, and then we can go back one day at a time, back to six days. Now we're back displaying the actual current temperature. These temperatures can be displayed in either Celsius or Fahrenheit by pushing the button here in the middle, Fahrenheit Celsius. Now we're displaying the temperatures in Celsius and by pushing an EM we go back to Fahrenheit. There's also a reset button that will allow you to clear the memory so that all the data on maximum minimums is erased and it restarts taking maximum minimums at the current time. This button requires a pen or other small object to push so that you won't be able to accidentally push. Push it with your hands if you don't mean to. Like I said, the right thermometer can be operated the exact same way as the uh, left thermometer.